short and sweet because this video is as long overdue as a Trump impeachment honey so I've been here for over two years and I did a apartment tour about two years ago um, but it's completely different from that from then so yeah I want you guys to see what I've been up to so without further ado let's get started with the apartment tour. so this is the view of the apartment when you first walk in you basically walk in and see the dining room straight ahead and the kitchen to the right uh, but this area to the left is actually my little dog puppy station I got a dog actually me and my girlfriend got a dog about a month ago and this is where I put his little kennel and his pee pee pad because we're crate training and a couple of his toys and then I have his leashes and all that stuff right here. Um, eventually I'm going to put like a cute, I don't know, something like a shelf or something right here. But this works for now. Yeah. So when you turn around, you're going to see a shoe rack here. Uh, you're going to see this tapestry that I got from Target. And this tapestry was actually really cheap. I think it was only like $15 and it's huge. And moving on, you see the kitchen. The kitchen's pretty basic. I didn't really do much to it. I just added like some blue accents. Other than that, it's pretty, pretty basic. Let me move back so you can see. Uh, we were so lucky because they, it, the our kitchen came with a um, microwave, so that was like the best and I just put this home sweet home to the cow here on the wall I think that that was here in my last apartment tour though I have a coffee maker that is super super cheap but it gets me through my day okay and I put this up yesterday uh, a little a little board here and I'm aware that it's crooked but I'm also aware that I don't care so <laughs> moving on a uh, crock pot that my girlfriend got me for Christmas because I kept talking about how much I wanted to cook stuff with crock with a crock pot, but girl, I don't even use it. So thanks for the gift, but you know. And here's all the spices and the um, things that I use for my food, even though I'm running out of everything. So I might want to restock on that. I haven't really been cooking lately so right, so when you walk out of the kitchen space this is the view that you get of the apartment you see the dining room and the living room here this is my dining room set it looks super fancy girl but all most of the things in my apartment are either thrifted from offer up from five mile from craigslist i am a very frugal shopper i do not like spending a lot of money for much of anything and i do not buy things that are full price and if you are with me on that girl like and comment below everything does not have to be super expensive and i am a very frugal buyer so yeah these chairs are from the thrift store this table is from the thrift store the tabletop this elephant my girlfriend made for me it's like an elephant but it has a it's a piggy bank so it's so cute and it goes with the theme so well these two shelving units my friend shiny she used to live in LA and we were like really cool we worked at the same restaurant and when she moved to New York she gave me a bunch of, of uh, things that were in her apartment so if you look at this tree this uh, base is from shiny and it's so nice and super heavy so with this tree eventually I'm gonna get some string lights uh, and I have a Polaroid camera so I want my friends to like take pictures and then like stick them on the tree eventually that's what I'm going for with that look and these two silver shelving units I don't know if I said in my last video but these are actually kitchen kitchen shelving units so I bought two of those 
and they are super cheap I got them from Target if you guys are looking for a bookshelf or a shelving unit or anything like that um, but you don't want to spend a lot of money these things mad cheap okay and you can use them for whatever you want to use them for and it has a very industrial chic look to them so don't be sleeping on kitchen shelving units y'all repurpose that stuff and if you want to see what's on here my girlfriend's uh bike helmet we have magazines and that vase is all the twinkly not the twinkly lights but the tea light candles i keep those all in that vase i have a vinyl of aretha franklin and um i got this little basket from the thrift store of course and if you are wondering i have this area section off let me show you i have that section off because this is a one bedroom apartment but i always wanted a two bedroom apartment uh so i sectioned this off because that is like the um my studio area i guess you want to say it's like the office guest bedroom whatever whatever i'm gonna do a separate tour on that but right now i'm going to just leave that you can see a little bit right all right there we go and when you turn here you see the view of the living room the view from the other side this is my living room space this couch i got on offer up do y'all want to know how much this couch was i don't think y'all ready to know how much this couch was first of all she posted this couch for fifty dollars and I'm like, okay, yeah, I can pick up the couch. But I'm, as I said, I am frugal. So I was like, you know what? Let me just try to like bargain this down a little bit just to see what's going to happen. So I said, okay, yeah, I can buy it for 40. And she was like, girl, I will give it to you for 30 if you can come and pick it up. So I, when I got there to pick it up, she was like, oh, I'm actually just going to give it to you for 20 because you were the only one who kept your word about like picking up the couch. So this couch was twenty dollars and i like it because it's vintage and it's chic and the girls that sold it were so freaking cool they were moving so they just had to get rid of everything and these pillows uh, i can't remember i had these pillows for so long i don't even remember where i got it from they've come with me to every apartment i've ever had this is my dog's little uh bed area I put a mirror there because for some reason my dog is so vain he loves to look at himself in the mirror so I put a mirror right there and he plays with his toys while looking at himself in the mirror it's hilarious um, and, but when I have company or if I ever need these bar stools I really only eat at the dining table but if I ever need these bar stools I just move all that stuff and put it in his section but he likes to be close to me so I just kept him right there uh, this chair right here again I got from offer up and I love this chair It's so comfortable and I don't know if you can see this under the chair I just have a lamp and I really like the way it look I know it's weird to put it under the chair but the way that let me try to show you the way it kind of like illuminates I love how that looks kind of like illuminates everything so I really like that vibe so I just put it under the chair and it casts a cute shadow uh, and this is a little side cork side table that I got again from the Goodwill I'm trying to tell y'all y'all sleeping on the Goodwill I got these little Buddhas from the dollar store and I keep my um, book there just to like read in my chair I'm telling y'all this is my favorite chair these little mirrors I got what up I got to clean but these little mirrors I got from Walmart and I just spray painted them silver and put two of them right there backdrop is actually a photography backdrop but I have a projector so I use it for both I use it to project my movies and TV and I use it to take pictures my friends absolutely love it I have a lot of uh, screening parties here I have a lot of insecure watch parties and dear white people watch parties so me and my friends love to just sit here and view the projector on a nice backdrop this ottoman is from the thrift store 
of course she was like five dollars as well as this um carrying I, don't, I forgot what you call that serving tray she was five dollars too from a good old thrift to the store got of course we just talked about insecure so i have a magazine of Issa ray there and a candle that's always burning so if you look at this shelving unit let me try to give you a pan look i have a bunch of pictures and little knickknack here i have um a bunch of games because I'm an entertainer y'all I like to entertain my friends so as I said I have a lot of viewing parties and I also have a lot of game nights here I mean real game nights like where we have teams and whoever doesn't score especially for types for taboo when we play adult taboo if you're not winning you taking shots like we we, we serious around these pods so this is a very entertainment friendly apartment because that's literally all I do is have parties for my friends so let me give you another overview of the space Heidi is back from the dog park okay all right sir Sir, look, hey, go to your bed. Go to your bed. He's not gonna do it. Sir, look, look, look at me. Go to your bed. Go to your bed, not lay. Okay, thank you. Thank you, that was something. Say hi, say hi. <laughs> Here is the view from the bar. Nothing too fancy. Just the two plants that I told you about in another Buddha. I have a lot of Buddhas around here. This is his favorite spot in the house. Like his bed is right there, easily accessible, but he likes to be right here, especially when I'm laying there. He's just like looking at me talk. So yeah, this is it. Uh, let me know guys comment below if you want me to do a tour of the bathroom I didn't really think it was super important, but I guess I can show you guys this little area This is where I do my laundry So we have that and just a couple of um, pictures right here Yeah, And that is the laundry room in there and this is my bedroom in here. I'm going to do a separate room tour though. So I'm not even going to go in there. But if you guys want a bathroom tour, let me know. And I'm going to be doing my studio setup tour in a separate video. So if you guys like this video, please let me know. Like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, see you later. Say bye, sir. Say bye. Say bye. He's like, uh, yeah, bye.